Welcome to Rapturous House. My name is Tanya. I hope you all are doing absolutely, absolutely wonderful. Today's reading is going to be for my Virgos. We're going to see what's going on in you guys' love life, okay? I do want to thank you all. I want to thank you all for all your likes, all your comments, all your shares. They're all greatly, greatly appreciated. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please do so. That way you'll get notified anytime I upload any new video footages, but also that way I'm able to tug on your energy. Okay, guys, please remember only take what's yours. Leave everything else behind. You know, time and energy is fluid. So you can flip and switch this energy however you guys see fit. Okay, all right. This could be your energy or this could be your person's energy. You flip and switch it however you see fit. Listen to your intuitions. Okay. All right, I do want to I do want to do a, like a little disclaimer. I want you guys to actually live life. Be present in life. Be present in your relationships as well. I don't want like take things only that's yours. Take only what resonates. Listen to your inner guides. Listen to your intuitions. Don't make something fit that doesn't fit. Don't cause problems where there is no problems, okay? All right, my loves, I want you guys to differentiate what is yours and what is not yours, okay? All right, my loves, let's get into this. I do call on the Holy Spirit. I call on the white light that guides us. I call on the goddesses that gives us our strength and the angels that protect us. Let's see. What's going on with my Virgos and the person they're currently dealing with? The person. Verge about to confess financial support signs and synchronicities i feel like there's gambling taking a risk for some of you guys you have somebody here for some of you guys you have somebody here it says irreconcilable differences divorce and final for a lot of you guys i see a divorce happening I see some of you guys having to go to court to fight for, for financial support, child support, alimony. You're done. I feel like for some of you guys, you're dealing with somebody, they may try to save the relationship just so they wouldn't have to pay child support or alimony to you. This is like somebody that wants you to stay um, just for that reason itself. For some of you guys, there's someone here that's on the verge of confessing their true, true feelings for you. Their true feelings for you. Um, and for some of you guys, your spirit guides are wanting you to pay attention to the signs and synchronicities. I feel like there's some messages that's trying to come through for a lot of you guys. There is someone here in some of you guys' energy that this person wants to take a risk. This person wants to take a risk. This person wants to gamble. I'm getting, this is for a Virgo that you you may not, you may not really and truly be oh so interested, not really and truly wanting to move things along quickly. I'm getting your little, your little... While you're, while you're putting yourself out there, you're still a little reserved. You're still a little like not too sure that you want this. And I feel like this is somebody stepping out on a limb. I'm getting an energy of, for some of you guys, this could be somebody that you've been dating. Or for some of you guys, this could definitely be somebody from somebody that you've already experienced some type of relationship with. And I feel like this person wants to step out on a, on the, on a limb, take a risk, gamble, and see if you will consider moving things along with them, being with them. Your spirit guides are definitely telling you guys to pay attention to all the signs and the synchronicities. So we have nightlife. For some of you guys, you're dealing with somebody here. This person may actually party a lot. This person may actually party a lot. For some of you guys, you're dealing with somebody, they may gamble a lot as well. Meaning like they may not have, they may not have a lot to offer. Or you see, you've already experienced some red flags with this person when it comes to financial support, so financial security. For some of you guys, there's, a, there's an energy here of experiencing some type of financial, like there's a financial risk here in being in a relationship with this person. Strong energy. Show me. Show me spirit. For some of you guys, you yourself being with somebody here is a gamble for you. It's a gamble for you being with this person. Why? Because I feel like for some of you guys, you may have more than this person or there's something about being with this person is a gamble for you. It says racing, running, and avoiding. Like for some of you guys, I feel like you're the person that's running away from someone here, someone that's searching for you. Someone that's searching for you. For some of you guys, you're trying to dodge someone. You're trying to avoid someone. You're trying to dodge someone. 
you know that someone here wants to be with you you know that someone here like i'm getting like you don't have you don't want for some of you guys somebody here is like searching for you online they're watching your social media they're trying to figure out what is it that you're doing yeah i feel like that's the same person that at one point in time you tried you tried to reconcile with this person you may have chased after this person at one point in time but i'm getting like somebody's momentum changing i'm getting somebody's stripes changing like it's like you know how you tell somebody no ah uh -uh, keep that same momentum i feel like for some of you guys there's somebody here in your energy their momentum is changing their tone is changing i'm also getting like for some of you guys there's somebody here in your energy like this person may have tried to play a game with you and now all of a sudden their momentum is changing because you stayed on a, a straight and arrow path you kept it moving and I feel like for some of you guys, there's an energy of this person wanting to, you want, thought you were going to chase after them. But it actually turned out to be the opposite because I see you guys running from this person. I see you guys trying to avoid this person. Big, big energy, like really and truly trying to avoid this person. For some of you guys, you know by going back to someone here, you absolutely know it's taking a gamble. It's taking a risk. You already know the outcome of it. You've already experienced some type of red flag, some type of outcome with it yeah and i feel like for some of you guys it's like you're trying to get guidance you're trying to see you're trying to make sure you're doing the right thing you're definitely definitely trying to make sure that you're doing the right thing for some of you guys you're on the verge of putting someone on child support you're on the verge of filing for a divorce and asking for your alimony and your child support you're on the verge of confessing that you don't, you no longer can do this for some of you guys you're absolutely absolutely on the verge of confessing that you can no longer do this you can no longer put yourself i'm hearing put yourself and put your kids through something strong energy we have karmic third party relationship and a lesson i get for a lot of you guys if you were if you were in something karmic if you were in something third party i'm definitely getting you learned a lesson from this connection i'm getting your you've learned a lesson a lesson from this connection but you know i picked up i picked up some of that energy last week sometime but i'm getting like for some of you guys, you're running away from something third party. If there's someone else involved with anybody that's interested in you or that you were interested in or is interested in, you're dodging that. I'm getting like you're trying to dodge bullets left and right. For some of you guys, it's not an easy thing for you. It's not an easy thing for you, but you're, I'm getting like you're dodging that. You're running from that. You're avoiding that. And for a lot of you guys, there's people here in your energy. They're trying to figure out what is it that you're doing. There's people here in your energy, they're like, what is my, what is Virgo doing? For some of you guys, people are seeing you enjoy life. They searching all over, trying to figure out some people, there's some energy here of people trying to be where you're going to be, trying to figure out where you're going to be so they can be where you're, where you're at. There's somebody here that is looking for some of you guys, because this person wants to let you know how they feel about you. For some of you guys, this person themselves, they feel like they are getting guided. They're getting some type of guidance or some type of light that's that's directing them to you for some for some of you guys this person that's looking for you this person feels like there's something about like this is almost like a spiritual connection this is almost like a spiritual connection because for some of you guys there's a person here in your energy whereas this person feels like they are being guided to you they feel like they're being guided to you strong energy strong energy show me spirit show me verge who's on the verge detached I'm emotionally closed off so I don't feel my past wounds. So somebody's about to confess. Somebody's about to confess how they feel. But I feel like somebody's really and truly about to make... This is like having a conversation with someone. And they're letting you know like, wow, you, you've already... I feel like you've already seen this with this person. I feel like these the signs... And I feel like the red flags have already been there for this person. And I feel like for some of you guys, this is a conversation you're, you're having with someone that someone is emotionally unavailable. Someone is emotionally detached. This is like some of you guys being like, okay, I understand. I get it. How about you go do you? I do me. Like, and this is like two people. I'm getting an energy like two people that do love each other. But this is two people that is giving each other space out of respect because there's an energy here of like someone here not being emotionally available and instead of going down the wrong path because i'm definitely getting two mature individuals what i'm getting in this energy is two mature individuals that have had, that's had some life experiences as i almost stuttered there like that's had some life experiences and i'm definitely getting like on the verge of confessing like i'm not ready for this i'm not emotionally available someone's someone's having an adult conversation i'm not emotionally available strong energy show me this financial support 
So we have love story. A true love story never ends. Let's start a new chapter. I'm definitely getting for some of you guys. There's someone here. This person could be having, I just got like this person could be having trouble paying for paying their child support or paying their alimony. But this is like somebody here. You know what I'm also getting for some of you guys? You may be dealing with somebody who who they can't, they they look in, they looking to mooch, they looking to live for free. For someone here, you, the person that you're dealing with, this person is looking for a place to stay. Like this person may be coming from, like this person may be coming on real, real strong. But I'm getting like somebody here that can't afford their lifestyle. Somebody here that their life is not oh so good. They may not tell you that, but they're coming because they're in need. This person is coming because they're in need. For some of you guys, this person could be like behind on their child support or their alimony. Or this person could actually have to pay child support or alimony to someone else. And they're coming to you because they want, they, they, they can't afford to live on their own. And you're a safe place. You offer some type of stability for this person. Like that's what I'm getting in this energy. Like you offer some type of stability to this person. And for some of you guys, there's somebody here in your energy. Whereas this person is coming back to you and they're wanting to start all over again. Because this person doesn't want to have to pay you child support or alimony. This person, there's an energy here of it's cheaper to keep. There's an energy here, as I see 11, 11 on the clock. There's somebody here that feels like it's cheaper to keep. Pay attention to the signs and the synchronicities. This is a confirmation for somebody here. This is a confirmation for somebody here. And you intuitively know that for some of you guys, there's a reason why somebody is keeping you. There's a reason why somebody is staying in a connection. Why? Because they feel like it's cheaper to keep. For some of you guys, there's somebody here that's in that you're dealing with. And this person is staying in a relationship because it's cheaper for them to keep that relationship. To whereas they don't have to pay child support or alimony. So that's why this person is actually staying in this connection. And I feel like for some of you guys, your spirit guides just actually gave you confirmation of that as we saw 11-11. Yeah. Show me these synchronicities. Restricted. I feel restricted and confined by my circumstances. Again, confirmation. Somebody is confined. Somebody feels confined. Somebody got themselves in a really tough, in, in, in a pickle. Like, I'm definitely getting like an energy. Like, I'm getting like, that's not you, Virgo. I'm definitely, definitely getting like, that's not you. This is somebody that's in your energy. This could be somebody that you were dealing with, somebody that you that you were dealing with, or somebody that you are dealing with. And it's giving me an energy of somebody getting themselves in a pickle. Like, they're getting themselves in a pickle. They're restricted, but you're not restricted. Like, they're restricted. That's their restriction. That's their lifestyle. That's their choices. That's by their choices that they're restricted. Really and truly, that's that. That's, and I'm getting like somebody here, like wanting to have this conversation with it, which you wanting you to be a part of all of this. But still, I'm getting like, yeah, but that's not my problem. Just like in like, you know, even with somebody here that can't afford like their child support or their alimony and any of that stuff. It's like, but yeah, but that's not my problem. I didn't. I wasn't in bed with you when you were making those children. I wasn't walking down the aisle with you when you were actually saying I do. Everybody has free will everybody has free will really and truly that's kind of what i'm getting in this energy like somebody here they absolutely have free will but this is someone here there this is a selfish energy this person is doing whatever they have to do but they're doing it selfishly they're causing their own self these headaches and these heartaches and these pains and for somebody here it's like this person is trying to drag you along with them or they're trying to keep you in that lifestyle with them but that's their problem that's their lifestyle that's by their choice that's by their choice and like for somebody here, somebody is somebody is trying to hold you, hold you because you offer them some type of stability. And I feel like this person knows that they're not going to get this anywhere else. And for some of you guys, there's somebody here that's coming back to you for that very reason. Listen to your intuitions because your intuitions is telling you so. Like you may have somebody here that's coming back to you. Why? Because something else didn't work out. Because they are having some type of financial hardship. They need a place to stay. They need some, somebody that's going to offer them some stability. And for some reason, this person feels like my Virgo is going to be there to hold them down. And I'm definitely, definitely getting that in the energy. Like for some reason, it's like this person feels. And look, this is the thing. My Virgo may have done it before. I'm definitely getting that in that energy. Like my Virgo may have done it before. But my Virgo has learned a very, very, a very I can't even talk, a very valuable lesson. A very, very valuable lesson. Yeah. Let's see this nightlife. Show me spirit. Show me this nightlife. Work. I'm focusing on work to have more financial stability. Like somebody here wants like, yeah, you don't have time for what this person has time for. For some of you guys, you're dealing with somebody that's extremely immature. This person still wants to party. They still, this person still want to party like it's 1999. You know how they say that? Like this person still wants to party. This person still like 
I'm getting like why you're focused on your work. This is somebody here that gambles. This is somebody here that may have some type of addiction. I'm also getting that in the energy. I'm getting like this person, like you would be taking a risk. And I feel like for some of you guys, there's an energy here of you've experienced, there's an experience in this person's energy. You've experienced this person some type of way, shape or form. Yeah, you've experienced this person for some of you guys. For some of you guys, something may have started out fun. There's an energy here of like, you may have started something with somebody and it could have been fun, but it ain't fun no more because it's costing you. I'm definitely, 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 definitely getting an energy of like, now my Virgo is having to become that responsible adult that my Virgo is. Like something that may have started out as you just having fun, it's not fun anymore because it's costing you. You're having to work harder. You're having to stress more. Why? Because you're trying to, Is this is almost like trying to fit into somebody else's world, into somebody else's life. I'm definitely, definitely getting an injury of like, you try to fit into somebody else's world, somebody else's life, and this is like, uh-uh, I gotta pull my shit together. I gotta get my shit together. Because for some of you guys, you all you've done is cause yourself more stress because this person actually has nothing to help you or offer you. They have nothing to give you. They have nothing to offer you. Strong energy. Strong energy, yeah. Show me this racing. Who is this? Show me this racing. Longing. I'm longing for the other half I have lost. You're avoiding this person. Somebody, the person that's longing for you, you're avoiding this person. I'm talking about you are running. You're running. I'm, 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 I'm hearing you're running circles around this person, but you're avoiding this person. This person, this I'm hearing like this person could long for you all they want. They could long for you all they want. For some of you guys, three's a crowd. For some of you guys, this person is in something else. For some of you guys, this person is in something else. For some of you guys, I'm definitely, get, I'm definitely, definitely getting like you're avoiding this person. You're avoiding this person by all means necessary. And while this person may be longing for you, this person still, there's still somebody else in this person's energy. There is still someone else in this person's energy. And I'm definitely, definitely getting in your energy. Like you're trying to avoid this person. Like, <laughs> like like you know like somebody that's on probation trying to avoid their probation officer <laughs> like you're trying to avoid this person yeah show me this searching show me this searching we have not finished there's still unfinished business it's not over until i say it's over Ooh, see that's that same person that i told you they're trying to figure out where you at so they can be where you're at that's that same per person that's stalking you. This person may have some type of fake account stalking you. This person is stalking you. For some of you guys, uh, I keep seeing that car down there. This person could actually be driving by your house, trying to figure out where you're at. I'm definitely, definitely getting somebody trying to figure out where you're at. They're searching because they feel like they have unfinished business with you. I definitely get your, you feel like it's done. There's no reason for this, but that's not how this person feels. That's not how this person feels. No, this person feels like you have unfinished business and this person is looking for you. They're searching and I'm definitely, definitely getting like, you know, when it comes closer to the weekend, I feel like this person may actually try to figure out where you're going to be to try and be where you're at. I'm definitely getting an energy of like somebody here trying to figure out where you're at so they can be, so they can be there. Strong energy. It says moving secretly. I'm moving in silence. Things will change soon. I'm definitely, definitely getting for some of you guys. This person could be like, I'm getting like somebody here. They may go a little silent, but this is like, you know how they say that the, the calm before the storm, that's kind of what I'm getting in this energy. Like a kind of like a calm before the storm. Like, I feel like there's somebody here that's for some of you guys, there's somebody in this energy. This person's going to piss you off. I'm definitely, definitely getting like somebody here. That's going to piss you off because for this person, you know how there's, there's an energy here of like changing momentum. Somebody changing their momentum, changing their stripes. For some of you guys, there's an energy here of like you trying to be an adult about the situation. You trying to be an adult about the situation. For some of you guys, you don't have time for the games. You don't have time for the immaturity. I'm getting like you're trying to, it's like you're trying to take care of your kids. You're trying to, you're trying to work your job. You're trying to make your money. You're trying to pay your bills. I'm definitely getting like you don't have time for this. You're focused on work right now, present moment, and you don't have time to gamble or take a risk on your stability or what you're building for yourself. I'm definitely getting like you don't have time to take that risk. Strong, strong energy. You're focused on your work. 
And I feel like for a lot of you guys, you're dealing with someone here or you were dealing with someone here. This person is restricted. And why is this person restricted? Because this person may actually be in another relationship or they have something else in their life, which is their problem. I'm definitely getting like it's their problem. But there's somebody here that's actually they're going to have they want to have a conversation. For some of you guys, there's someone here. They feel you pulling away from them or they feel like you are emotionally detached. You yourself. While you could be dealing with somebody here, but I, I, I feel like you guys are going to be having a discussion about this. I feel like there's going to be some type of communication about this. But I'm also getting like, for some of you guys, like having a calm conversation. Like two adults having this conversation. I'm getting that as well. Yeah, show me. Show me what's going on with my Virgo and their person. Wow, okay. The relationship is over. No second chances. Grow and transform your life. This is like telling somebody, I'm sorry. This relationship is over and done. I wish you well. I'm getting an energy of a lot of you guys telling someone, turning someone down, being like, I'm sorry, but I do wish you well. Sending somebody along their way with, with your blessings. I'm getting like you sending somebody along the way with your blessings. Yeah, you're done. You're cutting this person off. We have the chase or chasing a codependent relationship, fear of abandonment issues. And I definitely feel like I've been picking up that energy too, because a lot of you guys, you've been running away from someone. You are running away from someone. You are dodging someone. But now this person, they have changed their stripes. They've changed their momentum. Now this person wants to come in and this person wants to chase after you. Now this person wants to come in and chase after you. They've changed their momentum. We have the dragon. Be lighthearted, finding out things coming to light and adapt, change and heal. So there are some things coming. You know what I feel like? For some of you guys, somebody's going to really and truly, their feelings are about to get hurt. Somebody's feelings is about to get hurt. And it's not you. It's not you. Somebody's feelings is about to get hurt because I feel like for a lot of you guys, this is like really and truly like you ask and I shall tell. You ask for the truth. You started this conversation. You did this. I'm getting, that's what I'm hearing. Like you did this, meaning whoever this person is, they did whatever they did. Whatever they did. And now while you're trying to be lighthearted, you're trying to be calm and you're trying to handle it like an adult you're trying you're not bothering anybody you're minding your own business you're doing your own thing you're not chasing after nobody you're not bothering anybody else's ho household and this is like someone here they've changed their stripes they've changed their momentum now they're finding out that you got something else going on and now they're kind of taking back their little baffled the audacity there's an energy here of like the audacity but somebody's gonna have to adapt Somebody's going to have to adapt that you're not available to them anymore. Somebody's going to have to adapt that you have, you've let go. You truly, truly let go. You truly, truly healed from them. And the way that they're going to know and the way that they're going to find out that you truly, truly healed it because you're letting them go. You're handling it like a trooper. You're handling it like a boss. You're letting them go and you're letting them go with grace. Like you're, you're giving them your blessings and you're handling it oh so calm. Whereas one point in time, you probably would have gotten upset. You probably would have actually cried. You probably would have been emotional. But this is like you being like straight face. Like it is what it is. Like I'm definitely, definitely getting this energy. Like it kind of is what it is. But I feel like for some of you guys, somebody's going to be extremely, extremely butthurt because they're going to be finding out that you've already moved on. That is too late and you're over it. It's absolutely too late and you're over it. That's a strong energy. That's a strong energy. Show me. We have clock, need time, takes time, and time cycles, time to heal and progress. Yeah, you've given someone so much time. I feel like for a lot of you guys, you've given someone so much time to prove themselves. I'm hearing time and time again, you've given someone chance after chance after chance, opportunity after opportunity after opportunity. And I'm getting like, finally, now you're healed. Finally, now you're able to move on. Finally, now you're starting to progress. For some of you guys, finally, now you have something to you have something that's worth looking looking forward to. Finally, now I'm hearing you have a good girl, you have a good guy. Finally, now you have somebody here that actually cares about you, cares about your feelings, wants to do things with you. I'm getting like finally now. Finally now. Strong energy, healing heart, healing from heartache, freedom from toxic relationships or addictions. Yeah. You're free from this now. You're free from this. You found your freedom. You've healed from this. And like you're finally being able to breathe. And here someone comes and it's like, I'm sorry, but I can't. 
I'm sorry, but I can't. I do wish you well. I'm definitely getting a lot of wish you wells. We have addiction. Somebody is, somebody is like, and you know, I feel like for some of you guys, you've recognized this. You've recognized the behavior patterns. You've had this experience with this person. This was, this was a part of your issues with this person. For some of you guys, it was addiction. The addiction was you. There was a codependency. You were somebody's mother, father. You were somebody's wife, husband. You were somebody's like mother, father. I keep saying, I'm saying that because like not only were you someone's lover or somebody's partner or someone's spouse, but you had to be their parent too. Like, I feel like there was a lot of weight on your shoulders. I feel like there was a lot of weight on your shoulders. There's an obsession here. There's possession. Somebody was very possessive and very controlling. Yeah, somebody, for some of you guys, there's someone here. They are addicted to you. They're so addicted to you. You you have this person block. For some of you guys, you had to put a restraining order on this person. For some of you guys, you had to put a restraining order on this person, but you have this person blocked. For some of you guys, this person, while you're minding your business, you know, and I'm getting, I'm getting a whole lot of attitude. I'm getting a whole lot of attitude from somebody. I'm getting a whole lot of attitude from somebody, but I'm definitely, definitely getting for a lot of you guys, you were dealing with somebody that was either addicted to something or addicted to you. Strong, strong energy because there's a codependency here. There's a codependency on something, but I'm getting somebody here like their momentum has changed. They're, they've changed their stripes and that sass. I'm, uh, I'm hearing the sass. <laughs> I'm hearing the attitude because <laughs> they mad and you're trying to be, you're trying to be as polite as you can be because I'm picking up your energy. Like you're trying to be polite. You're trying to stay calm. You're trying to handle it like a trooper. You're trying to handle it like a trooper, but I'm getting in that somebody's ego is being tapped. Like somebody's tapping into their ego. Somebody feels some type of way. And then some, it's like, it's like somebody's coming in for somebody here. Somebody's coming in to try and shake you up, to try and steal your joy. Somebody wants to see they can still get under your skin. For some of you guys, there's somebody here in your energy. They want to try and see if they can still get under your skin. They're going to damn sure try. They're going to damn sure try. Yeah. Show me. <laughs> We have keys on a ring. You have a lot of options, a lot of decisions. Some of you guys, you're having some one night stands right now. String along. I'm getting like, you just, you're just doing you. You're, you're just doing you. But for some of you guys, I'm also getting this person. They have not been able to replace you. This person, they could have all the options they want. They, this person could have all the options they want. They have not been able to replace you. And for some of you guys, there's someone new in your energy and this person feels like you are a gift to them. This person feels like you're special and this person is actually showing this to you. They're showing this to you right now, present moment, but still there's a questioning. Still you're questioning that connection. You're still questioning that connection. We have twin flames, balance, union, coupling, complement each other. For a lot of you guys, this, you're entering into a, a true union. For a lot of you guys right now, present moment, you're, you're, this, is, this is almost like your forever person. This is like your life partner. So for some of you guys, you it, it took you going through trials and tribulations. It took you going through bad, or a few rounds of bad relationships to truly recognize a good relationship, a good person. You've experienced all the bad. And now it's like you instantly, it, you're finding your life partner. For some of you guys, you may have found your life partner, but it but there's a blessing in all the bad relationships because you recognize now you truly, truly recognize what's healthy and what's not healthy. There's a very, very strong energy of this. And then we have kisses, unconditional loving, giving and receiving affection and falling in love. This is you guys falling in love. This is you guys falling in love. Truly, truly going to the right relationship, the right partner. Like this is this is like true intimacy between two people. This is not the bullshit from the past. This is not this the same trials and tribulations that you went through with somebody from your past. Strong energy. Look at that. What you don't see is weddings, wedding rings, a union, again a union, a wedding, married, soul connection, eternal love, everlasting promise. You're going to your committed relationship. You're going towards your committed relationship. If you're not, if you're not with that person right now, present moment, that's where you're going. You know, it took you going through the other shit. It took you going through the other shit with the other individuals to get to this point, to get to this point. Then it took you having to do some work to truly, truly heal, 
to truly, truly heal, to truly, truly recognize what's good. And now you recognize it. And now you're being blessed with it. It's a nice feeling, right? That's a nice feeling. Show me this new person. Show me this new loving person, spirit. Communication. This is somebody here that you talk to a lot. This is somebody here that you talk to a lot. They speak well. You talk to this person. I see you texting all day. I see phone calls. I see for some of you guys, you could have met this person online. I'm definitely, definitely getting because for some of you guys, this person is at a distance from you. This person is at a distance from you physically. Um, this person could be a foreigner, meaning you could be foreign to this person. This person could be foreign to you. Um, this person could be at a distance from you. Like this is like a long distance relationship. I feel like for some of you guys, you could have definitely, definitely met this person online. I'm also getting like interracial, interracial. Like you could be one race and this person could be a whole nother race. That's a strong energy, but, but you like this person. There's a lot of communication between you and this person. There could be a lot of text messages, a lot of phone calls between you and this person. Show me. New love. This is somebody new. This is somebody new. It says a new person. So for some of you guys, you haven't even met this person yet. For some of you guys, you haven't even met this, this person yet, but this is going to be somebody here. You may meet this person online. You may meet this person while traveling. This person could live long distance from you. This person could actually be from a whole nother country. They could be from a whole nother country visiting your country. Strong energy. Strong energy. Show me. True gem. Somebody that sees value. For some of you guys, it's going to be somebody that actually has money. Somebody that actually has money. This is somebody of quality. Somebody's going to see your value from day one. Look at that. For some of you guys, this is definitely going to be the person that you're going to marry. And then again, gifts, surprises, presents, openings. Like this is, I love this energy. I absolutely love this energy because I feel like for a lot of you guys, this new person is going to be somebody that's going to adore you. I'm getting an energy of like somebody that's going to absolutely, absolutely adore you. For some of you guys, this could be a person that you're with right now, present moment. But for some of you guys, you haven't even met this person yet. For some of you guys, you haven't even met this person yet. For some of you guys, right now, present moment, the way this relationship is going to start, it's going to be an open relationship. It's, um, it's going to start as something open that's going to transform into something else. Strong energy. That's a strong energy. Show me. We have the Page of Wands. Talks about messages. Knight of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, energy. Yeah, you're closing out a cycle. For some of you guys, there's somebody here that's sending you messages. There's someone here that's sending you text messages. For some of you guys, this is somebody here that you met online. But with this Knight of Pentacles, this person has nothing to truly, truly offer you. With the world here, this is telling me that you're closing out this cycle. For, for some of you guys, right now, present moment, you're receiving communication from somebody here that you're done with. And you're not giving. You're not giving at all. You're not giving at all. You, they can try and reach out to you as much as they want. Because I'm definitely, definitely getting Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Somebody here that may try to reach out to you as much as they reach out to you as much as they want. For some of you guys, this could be a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn as well. But what I'm getting is that you're not giving. You have nothing to offer this person. This person has nothing to offer you. And I feel like whatever, this is like an empty promise. I feel like whoever this person is that's messaging you, this person is, it's like, it's like they're trying to make something look, appear to be good. This person is trying to make something appear to be good, like trying to make an offer appear to be good. Like that's what I feel. And I feel with like this Knight of Pentacles and like they're waving it, like they're trying to like blind you. They're trying to blind you or they're trying to talk too fast. Or there's an energy here of like this person trying to blind you so you don't see what's real, that they have nothing to truly, truly offer you. For some of you guys, it's like a person putting a $100 bill in front of a whole lot of ones. Like that's what I'm getting in this energy. Like somebody here that's putting a $100 bill in front of a whole lot of ones, trying to fool you, trying to trick you. Like trying to fool you, trying to trick you. But with the world here, you've closed out this cycle. You're done. You're done. You're on. You're, you're, on. you're going towards something new, something better. Something new, something better. Show me. Show me what I need to see for my Virgos. That card just spun around. Eight of Swords. Mm, Eight of Swords talks about freedom. This talks about freedom. Freedom from what? Freedom from what, Spirit? Four of Swords. 
Knight of Wands, somebody's bullshit, freedom from somebody's bullshit. Look at you resting. Look at you resting. Look at you. Like you, you, you're finally, you know that Eight of Swords here? The Eight of Swords came out in the reverse. You see that Eight of Swords? That Eight of Swords talks about like being in a mental prison. But this is like, like, like not letting that mental prison really and truly consume you. This is like you freeing yourself from that. This is like you using all logic, like using all common sense, like really and truly using all common sense. Look at that. You're getting your rest. This is like not allowing anything to steal your joy, not allowing anyone to come in and bother you. Like this is like you sleeping, like somebody's talking to you and you can't even hear them. Somebody's hitting you up, mess the phone going ding, 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 and it don't even matter. Somebody's messaging you, they're telling you something stupid and it don't even matter. You're not letting anyone phase you. Like you're not letting anyone phase you. Look at that. Knight of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. You know what this person's about. You absolutely know what this person's about. You absolutely know what this person is coming for. You absolutely know what this person's about. You absolutely know what this person is coming for, for. Coming for. For some of you guys, you just set yourself free from somebody that has been in and out of your life. You're finally free. You're finally free. This is like you waving your freedom flag. Like you're finally free from somebody that has been in and out of your life. You're finally closing out a cycle that has just been so, so toxic. Like truly, truly, you're finally able to close out. Because for some of you guys, there, there was an, there's an energy here of like you, somebody keeping you blindfolded. Somebody keeping you stuck. Somebody talking fast. You've been, you're dealing with somebody here that talked fast. You had a, a fast talker. Strong energy. Show me. Show me what I need to see. We have the King of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, energy. Just come. <laughs> I get, I get, okay, come on. It's like, it's like, it's like, come on. <laughs> Why is this King of Swords here? Like, yeah, the Two of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles talks about juggling, talks about an imbalance here. I feel like for a lot of you guys right now, present moment, you are recognizing where you, where you slipped up. There's an energy here of recognizing where you put your guard down, where you slipped up. There's a strong, strong energy of you guys recognizing, oh, I slipped up. I shouldn't have done that. There's an energy here of like, oh, no, I shouldn't have done that. Yeah, eight of cups, you return. For some of you guys, you let somebody you let somebody back in. For some of you guys, you answered somebody's phone call, somebody's text message, somebody's communication. For somebody here, you went and meet somebody from your past to allow them to, it's like you thought you, it's like you told yourself. <laughs> you told yourself you were going there for closure, but what you did is, is you did an exchange of energy. You did an exchange of energy. Somebody here, you absolutely know that you slipped up. You absolutely know that you fucked up. Like there's a true, true energy and you're seeing that you're recognizing that you're recognizing that you can't keep one foot in between both worlds. You have to close shop and keep it closed. There's a very, very strong energy. Look at that all wet and just like, look at that. Look at all that regret. Eight of cups. You return to something from your past or you let someone from your past back in. You let someone from your past back in your energy and you absolutely know that you, that, 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 that you messed up. You absolutely know that you messed up. So somebody here is like you're trying to you're trying right now, present moment, to not get caught up. You're trying right now, present moment, to not get caught in all of the bullshit. Because you absolutely know. You're thinking, you're thinking, how do I handle this? What do I do? Like you're thinking, like, how do I handle this? What do I do? You absolutely know that you messed up. You absolutely know that you you slipped up. Show me. We have the two of swords. Look at that. Look, because you're so like you go back and forth, you go back and forth, you go back and forth. But that back and forth, the thing that you're recognizing is that back and forth is going to be the death of you. That back and forth is going to be the death, the death of you. Give me a sec. Yeah, six of six of six of wands, success, victory for somebody here. There's an energy of for you that slipped up. You there's a regret in slipping up. Somebody slipped up. Okay. For somebody here, what I'm getting is like, there is like, there is no win. There, there, there's an energy here of if you don't know, you don't know. So whether this be you or the person that you're dealing with, there's an energy here. If you don't know about me, if you don't know what you want, then 
there's an energy here of like if you don't know then you don't know like that's really and truly what i'm getting in this energy there's an energy here of like it's not for me to make this, this decision for you it's not for me to make this decision for you it's not for me to make you see this is like okay if you don't know then you just don't know and i feel like for a lot of you guys you've played this game you've gone back and forth you've done all of this and this is like okay now you're now you're like uh-uh what i'm doing like what's next like this is like okay but what's next it's like there's a next here next <laughs> there's a next show me we have the ten of cups with the moon howling at the moon here yeah for some of you for a lot of you guys there's what, what what is absolutely like this is you guys like absolutely these emotions like these emotions are hmm you're truly truly seeing truly recognizing what fills your cup and what doesn't fill your cup the cat is out of the bag for a lot of you guys right now present moment you've slipped up one one too many times you've slipped up in the sense that now in doing that now you know for sure that you need to move on wherever you backstepped there's a confirmation in the fact that you know that you need to move on there's an absolute confirmation that you know that you need to move on. I feel like there's things that's coming to light. There's secrets. There's people. There's things that's being exposed. And you're you're recognizing what fills your cup and what doesn't fill your cup. And I feel like for a lot of you guys, it's something of an indec indecision. It, even if even for yourself, like if you've been indecisive about a situation or about a relationship or about a person, in in your own self-respect in your own knowledge in your own wisdom in your own intuitions you're knowing that okay even if you're guessing if you're thinking if you're on the fence about a connection then it's not meant to be that's kind of what i'm getting in this energy and i feel like for a lot of you guys you're actually coming to that you're actually thinking about that because it's not only is somebody indecisive about you you're indecisive about the person so i feel like for a lot of you guys right now present moment this is an energy of you really and truly thinking about trying to do the right thing no matter what this is leaving emotions out this is truly truly leaving emotions out whether you're going towards another relationship or you're in another relationship or you're going to just be by yourself this is you really and truly thinking thinking before you're acting because i feel like you've been illuminated you this is you feeling feeling what you have to feel this is you guys really and truly feeling what you have to feel but truly truly recognizing what fills your cups and what doesn't fill your cup where is there fulfillment where is there some stability where is there a solid offer where is there where you will not be crying from sadness i feel like a lot of you guys you're recognizing that i'm definitely definitely getting like you're recognizing that strength look at that overcoming these insecurities overcoming these insecurities for some of you guys you're dealing with somebody here this person this person has tried to break you or they're trying to break you or they're trying to see if you're still gullible and still vulnerable but i feel like for a lot of you guys this is you showing somebody better than you can tell them somebody doesn't know how strong you are somebody hasn't seen that strength in a while for some of you guys you become so much more stronger than this person even knows even knows it's a strong energy show me show me what i need to see we have playfulness to recapture romance allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine I feel like a lot of you guys right now, present moment, you're taking it easy. I feel like all you really and truly want is to have some fun. All you really and truly want is to have some fun and to see where things go. Truly, truly see where things go. I feel like a lot of you guys, you're not rushing anything. I feel like you're not rushing anything. Strong energy. We have give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. So for a lot of you guys right now, present moment, there's somebody here in your energy and you're wanting to work on things with this person. Why? Because this person, they're different from this other, there's two different people here. They're different. You see something different in this person. There's the potential of something different with this person. And it says, keep an open mind. I feel like for some of you guys, while, there, while there's some doubt, because there's a little doubt for some of you guys, you're trying to keep an open mind because I feel like for some of you guys, this person is different from what you're used to. This person is absolutely different from what you're used to and you're trying to keep an open mind. But I see you guys having some fun with this new person. I do see you guys having, having some fun with this new person. Strong, strong energy. Yeah. All right, my loves. That's what I have for you guys. 
If any of this resonates, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't. Until next time. Bye, guys.